Is this thing on? All right, gentlemen, coming to main stage next, this is Bunny. Get up there. She's got a tornado of titties coming your way. Get those dollar bills ready. She's got an ass that shakes like Michael J. Fox. So get up there and throw, throw, throw them dollars. Dude, that is fucking iconic. <laughs> What's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to another episode of Dumb Blonde. Today we have a social media and reality TV star. <laughs> How's that for an intro? That's an intro. That's an intro. <laughs> Kale Lowry. How yes. you doing, baby? I'm good. How are you? Dude, I'm yeah. And I mean, she was a functioning addict. addict. So I always like she would go to work fucked up, but she was going to work. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like yeah. I saw that growing up. Um, and so I was like, this show's not going to last forever. I can't be working at fucking Sports Authority and the restaurant for my entire life. Like this is not going to get me by. Mm. So um, I start going back to school and I, I realize, wow, like there's so many other people out here. Like mm -hmm. there's so many people and he gets deployed. He has whatever he's going on over there I had actually filed for divorce right before he left because he we were fighting we were going at it right and he had, nobody was cheating nobody was cheating okay. at the time okay. um, and I truly don't even think that we were cheating once I filed for divorce because even once I filed and we were kind of going back and forth with like are we gonna make this work are we not it's like I did file right you know what I mean so I think that was like the big scandal was like he tried to play this whole victim thing where right. I cheated but you had something going on over there, right. you know? So, yeah. um, well, men always try to deflect. Oh, absolutely. It well, and it came out in a lie detector test on marriage boot camp. Wow. So that was kind of like, why would you sit here after everything that I've been through and put it on me when mm. this time I really didn't do shit. And you know, we, we were doing the same thing and I had filed. So it wasn't, it canceled yeah. each other out. It you takes know? two to tango. Absolutely. Yeah. But we went back on, back and forth for probably a year and then when we got back from marriage boot camp in 2016, we had the divorce decree in the mail. So you are how old at this time? 24. 24, mm -hmm. two babies, mm -hmm. one divorce, mm -hmm. two baby daddies. Mm -hmm. well, what you doing, Kale? What's next? <laughs> <laughs> I got, I actually ended up, I believe we, I got pregnant with, with, Lux before my divorce was finalized mm -hmm. um and he ha Javi had to sign a, a a paper saying that he was not the father because we hadn't been divorced for 365 days wow when I got pregnant is this a law yeah wow. in Delaware like it had he had to sign off because we were still legally married even though we had filed for divorce and it was like under the separation mm -hmm. um and so then I was with Chris and that was by far my most tumultuous and toxic relationship was it domestic violence? Absolutely. And, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot. Can you take me on that journey? So you're already pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yep. You got the two babies. Yep. Do you have full custody of them? Well, um, in Delaware, it's 50-50 automatic. Okay. Gotcha. So I have 50-50, I think, with, with Lincoln. But I think Joe might have still... I don't think we were 50 50 yet, but that's what we were working on. Right. Um, well, have they so, always stepped up Joe and Javi? Yeah, okay. Always. They've always been, um, like when Joe, when we were both in Pennsylvania, he paid child support. He did what he had to do. Same for Javi right yeah. off the bat. Good. Um, so when I meet Chris, it was a very different story. It started off very toxic. And, um, when you say started off very toxic, what do you mean? So I would say about six months in, I... Hey, what's up, guys? If you want to see the rest of this episode, and I know you're going to want to see the rest of this episode, head on over to our Patreon at www.dumbblondunrated.com. See you there.